makeup loving friends how's it going we have another week's worth of new makeup releases to talk about well not quite a week because we're filming early because as you're watching this we're having a pillow fight i'm joking we're actually just going to pick up missa from uh, the airport <laughs> as you're watching this and then we're going to bring tia to Primark or Pennies as it's called in Ireland and probably TK Maxx and just basically flap around. I'm too excited. I'm like, <laughs> so as you can probably tell, that means that we've filmed this a little bit earlier on a Tuesday, but we still have loads to talk about. We actually have a quick general announcement. The first is about Midas Cosmetics, and this came on their Instagram page. Basically, they said that it was a really tough year, that they had struggled, struggled with mental health issues, and they're going to take some time to restructure internally. They're apparently not going to be restocking until after February 2022, and there won't be any new products for quite some time and they did say thanks again for the support but when you see something like that I'm kind of like a bit nervous of could this just be a brand like winding down completely yeah. I hope not I really hope that it yeah. is just you know taking time and I'm so on for somebody recognizing when they need yeah. to take time for themselves so and I always associate Elena with Midas because me too yeah I wish them all the best and I'm I'm glad that they're transparent about like, you know, taking time to themselves and like, yeah, absolutely. Knowing I, what they need. Exactly. I think that's a great message for so many of us. Uh, last week we were talking about Huda and the Rose Quartz palette and I kind of said, oh, I think it looked a lot like the Mercury Retrograde. Yeah. And it seems a few other people had the same thought because there is an Instagram or is it a TikTok called Rose and Ben. And this was sent to me and they basically showed that there's so many shades that do dupe. Now I know Missa has kind of sent us messages saying there's a lot yeah, of there were quite a few, at least half, I think. Yeah. And for an expensive palette, it does make you wonder. Yeah. Anyways, that's it in terms of the general announcements. So you know what that means. I have lots of people to thank. So a big thank you to Brianna, Ali, Gillian, Shanna, Misha, JW, Kat, Chrissy, Rhiannon, Katie, Manuela T, Susie, Miss Charlie, Daniela, Tia, Missa, Cheryl, Sue, Heather, H, Fiona, Wilma, Fingerdo, Suzanne, Beth, Tina, Sarah, L, Inez, Claire C, Gaia, Shalina, Gina, Jades, Heather P, Missy, Paula, Emily, Rhea, and Sophie. A massive thank you also to my patrons ah very fun times now our theme this week is nine to five because as i kind of said in releases and rants that just went up of last week technically although it was a few days ago as we're filming very confusing um i am working frightening amounts and i'm very tired <laughs> if you can't tell <laughs> I almost put orange juice into cereal this morning. <laughs> it's a great time. Great time to be alive. Anyways, um, we decided that the theme would be nine to five. So you're going to see me in my work outfit as I came home. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't wear makeup to work. So I thought nine to five is this to me. Although I don't work nine to five, but you know. Yeah. I don't work nine to five either. I apparently work ridiculous hours now <laughs> <laughs> to work for very little pay anyways let's not get into that um I feel like you know Dolly Parton would be very proud of quite a few of us um for the nine to five looks so I'm going to show you my Patreon's looks because they're annoyingly talented as always they are But as per usual, we have lots to talk about. And the first one is inspired by sig Sigil, uh, Tammy Tanuka. This is their Dumb Nut Frog, which, by the way, I love that as a name, Dumb Nut Frog. Mm. <laughs> and this is a little six pound palette. Now, what they do is they have like a bigger palette of it and then they have a smaller palette. So I think it's kind of smart having like a mini version of a palette yeah. because, you know, a lot of us just don't use the whole thing. I did get quite a few messages on this where they were like, Mm, this is similar to other things that we've seen in the past I'm like yeah yeah that's true I so, thought when I saw the picture that this is a new Lois like cosmetics lot like 
launch kind of like a smaller version of uh, Meet Me in the Underworld because this color story actually is very similar. Like there's very similar colors and the like dark greens and the frog, well, maybe not, not gold. I don't remember there being a dumb frog. <laughs> yes, there. maybe there's not a frog in there. But it's just the aesthetic and just like everything is very similar to me. Yeah, even um, I think the way they've uh, like photographed it. Like yeah, yeah, I get things. like similar vibes. Yeah, I guess they really, really want, like a uh, sister palette, even though it's a completely different brand. Yeah, yeah. I really like Tammy Tanuka. I haven't tried anything from them, but oh my gosh, they have some beautiful stuff. And I really want to try them at some point. This palette is actually really pretty. Yeah. But it's really? not for me. Like I have to meet me in the underworld and that's enough for me. But I feel like this is really nice six pan palette. Yeah, I love the look of this. And Tammy Tanuka has been on my radar for quite some time and I do think that you know how people like make new year's resolutions and they're like I'm gonna get fit and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that yeah. no I'm not gonna make any ridiculous ones of like I'm gonna be a better person no fuck that noise I'm gonna <laughs> buy shit that I don't need and some yeah. of the shit that I don't need but I want to buy is Tammy Tanuka so 2022 yeah. is the year that I get something from Tammy Tanuka yeah so, help me god I like the look of this though. This is like my kind of color story. But like you're saying, I already can't, because it is my color story, I have it already. So yeah. I need to cameth my tits. Yeah. Cameth the mams. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm in a funny mood these days. When I put it to you guys, you also really liked it as well. There was there was quite a quite a bit of wood wooting for yeah. Tammy Tanuka. 66% of you said that you loved it, which I totally agree with. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Then we're back onto Huda again. And, and this, this is the Rose Quartz Face Gloss Highlighting Dew. $39, it's multi-use all over highlighting gloss that will give a soft pink glow, sheer shimmery formula infused with warm pink and gold champagne pearl. Um, Okay, so the if you read the description, I'm like, that sounds really interesting. And I like the sound of it. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh no. Oh, the it people. looks like those petri dishes. It, <laughs> like, really does. it doesn't look appealing, but I'm actually very intrigued. I saw a person use this on TikTok. My God, it looked beautiful. It it wasn't like greasy or anything, although you would think because it looks kind of like a Vaseline or something. Yeah. It looked so stunning, like smooth highlighter on the skin. Um, I'm kind of intrigued. I kind of kind of want to try that. It, it's a bit of a, expensive for me, yeah. but it's just the way that it looked on the TikTok that I saw. I was like instantly in love I don't like the pan I like the, the packaging is cute yeah and I think it's a little like it's expensive yeah I'm um, I'm leaning on the it's expensive for what it is I have lots of really good highlighters um I I, I can't get past the look I'm sorry I am that <laughs> I am that person and also I know and I've said it before I don't really trust TikTok when it comes to showing pictures or videos of things because they're filtered to filth yeah, at the time. That's true. So I, it's an expensive gamble to go on. I, I would probably wait. I don't need any more highlighters. Yeah. I have loads. I am looking over there at a drawer that is I definitely want to see more people use it. Yeah, same. But I'm very intrigued. Mm. I and just the pan, like doesn't bother me that much. I'm like, it doesn't look appealing, but I'm not like, you. I can't touch it. No. Yeah. I'm like, I, I can't finger you. Yeah. I just, I don't plan on being the guinea pig to test this thing out. I want yeah. other people to do that footwork for me because it's an expensive yeah. thing to, to F around with in case it isn't any good. So... Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just not for me, uh, but you never know, I could change my mind. It seems though a lot of you were on my side here because only 9% of you said that you love it. Mm. 
I think, I think honestly, it's more about the how it looks. Yeah. I honestly think because people go crazy with Kurasta. Yeah. And now that it looks like that, I think it's more that than actually like, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe not. I, I do just think we are a people getting through a pandemic and we really don't want to have something that looks like some sort of bacteria culture. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I don't think that's a weird thing for us to not want. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, who in the Huda headquarters went, do you know what? Aesthetically, this is going to be so pleasing. Like, is there actually anyone out there that kind of goes, I love the look of this? I don't think so. Because maybe most- if you're a weirdo, like, like, like that kind of stuff, maybe then. Yeah. Because I think most will fall into the, I don't really care. And then some will, some people yeah. will be a bit repulsed by it. Yeah. So it's a really To be awesome. fair, I'm a weirdo. So weirdo. So maybe that's why I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, we're all hanging out together at the weekend. So we're going to be weird yeah. together. This was sent out to me by Kat. This is apparently um, hiding on the Sephora listing for the new mini Metropolis. And this is coming from Natasha Denona. So it looks like it's like a face cream duo. So like a bronzer and then like a cream highlight. And then a five pan kind of neutral palette. Almost like their camel eyeshadow palette. Mm. Eh. Boring. Yeah, I mean, look, this will, I think, will, will appeal to an awful lot of people. I love that they have the little protector there. As soon as I see somebody that has, like, yeah. cream products and they do the little protector, I'm like, well done. It's like those, um, I don't know if anyone is on that side of TikTok where it's the, the germ doctor and he's popping spots and he goes, like, minus one, no gloves. That's, like, me with with cream blushes. Yeah. And if there's no cover, I'm like, minus one no cover that's how I feel about that yeah. I feel yeah. like Natasha Denona has way more interest in stuff than this I totally agree and I, I don't I don't really get the why and why do we need this well I think a lot of us that are watching or etc <laughs> don't need this and this is for a good Christmas present yeah. for like an aunt a sister-in-law that you know likes makeup but doesn't love makeup and they're going to appreciate a bougie product but it's also going to do them pretty much every day yeah. for the next year it's not us probably like it's not us and that's okay because we cannot buy everything much as we may try <laughs> my god do we try <sighs> i will own a house god damn it i will <laughs> one day um yeah, I mean, there's not a lot that can be said about it. It has some depth. Meh. It, 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 that, that is just what it is. It's a meh. Because when I put it then to you guys, 15% of you said that you love it. So again, you're thinking along the same lines of you. I'm loving this little echo chamber, this curl yeah. sink. This is the start of a good cult where we're all thinking the exact same thing. Ta-da. Bessemer are at it again. So they have their Victorian Spider Compact. I apologize to anyone who might have uh, a phobia of spiders. So I'm not showing you the picture for another five seconds. So you can skip. But this is this is what it looks like. It is just like a compact with a darker highlight than what we've seen from the Princess Collection, at least. And I'm a bit confused, though, by the imprint on the highlight or powder or whatever it is, because it bears no similarity to the outside, yeah. which is a spider. Like, it seems... I love the spider packaging, but I don't get the moon and the stars. There. Same. Like... It's so disjointed. And, and it's like the whole package is like $101. But then a refill is like twenty eight fifty. Yeah. Why don't you just buy the refill? Do you need a like almost seventy dollar um like compact? Why is the compact itself like seventy dollars? Yeah. What is it made of? You don't want to. No, Freya. Is that Freya? No. Yeah. Yeah. Freya's like no, I don't. I don't agree. The swishy tail of disapproval. Fair. Um, yeah, I just I can't understand why it's that expensive when they're saying that the refill is $28.50. But the markup just seems insane. I know they do like to do that whole thing of like, we are a limited edition and we're only making X amount of these. Yeah. So there was a brief interlude there. Uh, Freya was attempting to sabotage some laundry. Yeah. 
it's it's because great. If I poop on these, Mama will not be able to leave. I do the same thing when I don't want Sahil to leave. <laughs> Just <Solid>. go. <laughs> that works on two levels where I said it's solid. The poop is solid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, depends on how much fiber you have. Um, that was a weird segue. Anyways, um, when I put it to you guys, 45% of you said that you loved it. I think it's just for the packaging because the rest yeah. of it was like, eh. Then the next thing we have is Juvia's Place and they're coming out with a whole chunk of stuff. There's some brushes, there's like some pigments, there's like an eyeshadow palette, like there's primers, loose highlighters, lip kit, all of that sort of thing. And let's face it, they're pretty reasonably priced. The two eyeshadow palettes are $15. The most expensive thing there is the I Live, I Love eye kit, which has an eyeshadow palette and an eyelid primer for $26. So that's actually really not bad at all. I will say when I'm looking at the orange and kind of turquoise palette, the first thing I thought of when I saw that was the Kaleidos uh, Electro Turquoise. Oh palette. yeah, I was thinking like, why does it look so familiar? And I'm like, it look, I like the color story, I really do, but I don't need it. Like, it's actually so similar. Mm -hmm. Well, minus the like dark brown, but. Yeah, it really is. Like orange is, yeah, if you take this out, it's basically the same. Yeah, I agree. And that was, that was the first thing that I thought of when I saw it. And I think it's, it is very, very nice. It's, it's an affordable brand, let's be real. I really like Juvia's Place. They yeah. are good quality, good pigment. I think the blue palette kind of lacks the depth. Yeah, like, I, they usually does this, like their shimmers are very dark and then the mattes are very light. Yeah. And I'm like, I would want it to be, like the, I rather have darker mattes and then like lighter shimmers than like really light mattes. Like what can you do with that palette? Like realistically, I don't yeah. think you, like I myself couldn't create a look with either of those alone because the shimmers are the darkest colors in there. And for me, I just, I need, like, I'm like, I need black eyeshadow on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like the like depth I feel like it looks a little bit wishy-washy on me if I don't have like a good deep shadow on I mean that I think the same thing that's why I'm going to start a campaign that every brand should have a black shade in their palette and a white shade come on lad. like I, I was before that person who was like nah that's unnecessary but now like if it if it if it's a good black like the meet me in the underworld black, black then yes give it to me in every palette yeah but if it's like a me, 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 Mitchell like feet on the ground black then I would rather not have it <laughs> yeah we're talking about a good quality black not yeah essentially um yeah it's a funny one because I thought pale blue palette it would very much be I can't see like what I could do with it by itself yeah. we can get good six pan palettes now I did see on a uh, missile Anais's Instagram page that she was comparing that blue six pan palette to like parts of the original Wahala so the first Wahala which was more blue toned mm -hmm. and there were definitely like some similarities across those palettes so I thought that was quite interesting so if you have that you don't need to run out and get that. Do check out Miss Linaeus's, um Instagram. I'll put the link down below. They're really, really good. They will save you some coin by like comparing all of these things. Wilma, quick question. Did you get it? Did you get any of this? Because I know you're a big Juvia's Place hoe and I hope you don't mind me saying that you're a Juvia's Place hoe. But yeah, it's, it's not for me. I do think I like the brushes. I do like the look of the brushes. Some of them look quite nice. And I have a few Juvia's Place brushes and I do like them. So I had a few of you guys kind of saying, I've gotten the brushes. And I'm like, I think you'll enjoy them because I think they're good quality. Um, but other than that, no, nothing nothing from this collection is entirely my gem. 
and that's okay. But when I put it to you guys, 43% of you said that you love it. So I think, again, we we're part of that echo chamber and I'm enjoying it. Rude Cosmetics just came out with a whole chunk of things. There's two kind of big 30 pan eyeshadow palettes. They're $20 each. Now, if you think that they look familiar, you're not wrong because one looks quite similar to the Be Perfect Antidote palette and then the other one looks like the Glam Light Ice Cream Yeah, palette. I was just going to say the same. Yeah. And we have now the first carnival for Duke. We're gonna see a lot of these. That was quick though. Yeah, like we're gonna see a lot of them. Like we've seen it before with all of the previous carnivals. I don't know with the first one, but at least like Tahiti and Carnival XL. We've seen the dupes. It's gonna, they're gonna like now start to roll out. Yeah. Um, but this is only $20 and the yeah. color story is like, I don't hate it. Like, I don't hate the, like the Carnival 4 either. Like, I'm excited to play with it when I get it. But like, I don't think this is for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, the ice cream palette dupe actually, because I've heard the Root Cosmetics has a really nice, like pretty good, like I should have formed. I've yeah. seen their shimmers look amazing and all of that. So I'm not yeah. like hating it. I think it is it is good it's always nice to see something that's affordable for people because like yeah. although sometimes dupes annoy me I also yeah. get that not everyone can afford the higher end brand so it's yeah. I don't think this is like a like they're not at least doing an exact copy yeah I think they're like a little bit changed like the position of colors yeah. and like they have their own kind of theme in it it's not exactly the same as the like exactly. what they're trying to you yeah, know, it's not, it's not a great like, copy. Yeah, I I don't I I actually think this is a good launch from them. It's it's not expensive. The nine pound palettes look like okay. Um, we've seen this before. I yeah. think I'm I'm getting a bit like I love a good monochromatic palette, but how much can you do those? Like I'm getting a bit bored. Yeah. You know? I agree. They've been done to death at this point. Like yeah. every brand has done a monochromatic palette at this stage. So it is. But I absolutely of... love the packaging on those monochromatic yeah. ones. I think, really. Yeah. And for $11. Do you yeah. know what? I don't hate it. That's but, not bad. Like just even if you wanted it for the aesthetics, I think yeah. then we're coming up to Christmas. $11 for a nice little stocking filler of a nine pound yeah. palette. If that, that was gifted to me on Christmas. And I think a lot of Root Cosmetics stuff has been on TK Maxx. Yeah. I've heard. So maybe this will come there too in a time. Because I know they're not like the, like, because they're from America. So it's not that easy to get here. Yeah. But I know at least some of their palettes is getting into TK Maxx. So maybe yeah. look there. Absolutely. And I know that, um, Boots actually stock them as well. And boots oh, okay. for Christmas tend to have like a three for two or something. So Ooh, all, I'm, right, all right. I'm not saying that'll happen with that, but it might be something to keep in mind. Yeah. Some nice little stocking fillers. So for that, do you know what? I'm not angry at it. I think actually this is a pretty decent launch. I think it's a very good launch. And I I I do like that there's coming dupes of like carnival palettes. I, I do think that people like some people doesn't want to support the brand maybe or can't afford it so I do I can appreciate a good deal yeah if it's not like a, a played in copy you know like I, I don't like if it's like like yeah like the way like, W7 but, did it with their yeah, that, that was Mardi like, Gras that, that was like that was they did it good and... but it was like can you change it up a bit? Maybe. It was, like, it was like they took somebody else's essay and photocopied it. Yeah. Like they didn't even bother to try and put it in their own handwriting. Yeah. They just took their own name on it. And you're like, lads, this is this is lazy. Very, very lazy. <laughs> Brief interlude. Uh, boyfriend was looking for a pot. That isn't a euphemism. He's cooking for me. It's great. Anyways, when I put this to you guys, 52% of you love it. So... I mean, I think this is definitely a winner. 
Yeah. And uh, going from winner to what in Sweet Merciful Zeus is this? This is Ulta and their Pixar collaboration. So they're doing a Toy Story, a Finding Nemo and a Monsters Inc. collection. Like, I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, Colourpop, is this you? Yeah. And also like, I was, this is not like horrible. I don't know if it's like giving me those kinds of vibes that they're supposed to be. But like, I think they're not like the worst we've seen yeah do you think have we been at this so long that we've become a bit like hardened and weathered to the yeah. shit that we've seen that we're just kind of like letting any old shit pass now that we're like oh yeah. fine you I don't mean, melt my eyes there's good stuff there but i don't see the like nemo or monster inc or like toy story in those yeah. like i like the brush set and the palettes are kind of like with a pop of color but at least yeah. they're kind of trying um the rest is like mm, i don't know i wish they could have done like the sponges with the shapes of what they actually like are we've seen those i think that would have been such a good thing it feels kind of like lazy like they're like oh we'll just uh we'll just put the the picture of what it is yeah packaging and you're like oh okay um the toy story one is the most neutral like and so many of the shades look exactly the same yeah that's the worst out of all genuinely that but also if you look at finding nemo how many shades of orange do you need yeah that are all the same like there's like actually four that look exactly the same it's very upsetting when you try to look at them like from far i would say (laughs) they look like oh that's not bad then you look close and then you're like oh yeah that that's not very nice so me and my makeup if you look at my makeup from far away, you're like, oh, that's you got no, makeup. it's you're not. Like, oh, no, what has she okay. done? Who knows? Uh, I mean, I, I think they're trying to be like, oh, we're the next color pop, maybe trying. But, yeah. but like color pop doesn't have very high standards anymore. No. So. But, but they still are. like. But you know what? Ulta are kind of being the next color pop because this is yeah. a, a ridiculous collaboration that is done mm-hmm. very badly. I feel like they tried, but I wish they did a, I did more. Like think about it a little bit more. I just I just wish they hadn't tried. Yeah. They left it there. <laughs> Maybe this is nice for like kids. Like I, I would say like kind of like if they can't really tell, like if it's well, I don't if know. They have no taste. I'm trying to I'm trying to like Who make this so better. But but it's actually not that great. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Alta, but yeah, sorry. I'm just being a bitch today. So yeah, sorry, lads. I just I can't get behind this. I don't like it, and I think it's yeah. it's just landfill. None of this is like use. Well, it's not that it's not usable, but it's just like meh. And also, has anyone heard any good things about Alta Beauty makeup? Yeah. I've never know. heard anyone talk about it. And I've seen some videos from American YouTubers like using some of their products. And usually it's like not that great. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a moot point for us because we can't get it here anyways. But even if we did, I wouldn't be buying it. Cause yeah, me neither. When I put it to you guys, then 20% of you said that you love it. So I assume it's just due to the Pixar-ness. Yeah. And then we're going to actual color pop. This is the nightmare before color pop. Um, sorry, the nightmare before Christmas. And um, I mean, what can be said really? Apparently, it's black light activated <laughs> in the packaging so that if you turn the lights off, it's it kind of glows or whatever. This is coming out October 28th. So as you're watching, it's already available. Um, yeah, they have like lipsticks, they have like creams, all this sort of bits and pieces. Um, eh. it's like it's not I feel like I like the palette but I just I don't understand that like the couple of warm that like that one warm row yeah. like row there that's like a little bit misplaced but if it was a nine pan I actually think it's really pretty yeah I don't and think some of the like glitter gels I've seen them closer looked really pretty that nude lipstick it's, I'm just not that you know excited still. Yeah. Like, like I don't know maybe it's because like we say all the time color books comes out so much stuff it's hard to even get excited about even if they have uh, like a decent one 
because it's like it there's so much more that you're like you're get a bit bored and you're like meh it's just another one so yeah like, I feel I get, like they just need to slow the f down yeah like I get overwhelmed because they just come out with something new every single yeah. week we don't, and don't you think this is a bit new. late for Halloween yeah it is and I mean don't get me wrong I know that it's like the nightmare before Christmas but it is a Halloween movie yeah so it maybe is- it's their Christmas collection then but, but well knowing uh-oh. color but they're gonna have a christmas collection still but right you know whatever if he said like they're they're releasing this on the 28th and oh if you're in the states you'll get it in you know a few days so you'll have it by halloween will you though because their shipping hasn't been great yeah. so i'm like this is by the time most people get it it's like old news so yeah, I'm like, it's kind of really irrelevant so halloween's con past yeah. everyone's forget about forgot it already so it's like okay i mean i will say i think this is better executed than the revolution one yeah definitely that's not saying much though because the bar for that was pretty darn low so yeah yeah i mean i still have the poll up as we're filming but the last time that i looked it was pretty neck and neck but 49 percent of you guys loving it so pretty pretty tight there i feel but, like the all the disney collabs do quite well because yeah. there's so many diehard disney fans yeah they're smart they're going for the nostalgia like yeah. you know, what, what can be said anyways that means we're on to the sneak peeks and there's a few kind of odd things in there there's more collaborations morphe are again trying to go with the nostalgia feel with this disney collection how and- many disney collabs have we had this week like come on oh, stop. it's ridiculous but even right the, the palette is 32 dollars. is that just me or is that more expensive than their usual palettes because i feel like their usual palettes are like 27 dollars. 28 i think there have been 28 those yeah. smaller ones yeah, yeah. so it that seems like they've nice. upped the price Maybe I'm yeah. explaining. Yeah. yeah. Why are you upping the price? Even the and the palette is not like it's a rainbow palette. Yeah, we get it. But is this just repackaged stuff? Like, is it just the the old one that they had, like the rainbow one? Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like half 35i, you know, the IC palette. Oh yeah. Half of that, and then half of like James Charles artistry palette. Yeah. The darker shades. Yeah. Um, that's what it looks like to me now they also have like a lipstick trio for $20 and they have a red a nude and a pink which is the same sort of thing that we saw from Colourpop with their nightmare before Christmas so I think it's really interesting that they're like pink nude red that's what will make a lipstick trio so there you go and And like a basic brush set yeah I'm not even interested on the brush set because like why do we need those huge blending brushes still haven't we established that they're not very useful? No. Like, no. Give, I'd rather have like medium sized, smaller brushes. I don't use those kind of brushes that much. I want teeny tiny detailed blending brushes. Yeah. That's what I want. Like yeah. once, at least once gives give us like a more detailed brush than this that they always, this is the same thing that they always do yeah lazy whatever morphe is so irrelevant these days i don't even think about them anymore same they also have the mirror there for 18 dollars, and i so want to see the other side of it and i want to see if it's just like which brand was it that did the really really oh it was it was revolution that they did the terrible coffee cup mirror and it was like they had just taken a rectangle of a mirror and just stuck it onto the coffee cup um, i will be so mad if that is not actually like i want the mirror to be like yeah. the ears too like could you imagine if it had like a like a zoom like a like a what what's it called a mirror that it's like that gets you like zoomed on the eye oh, like, yeah a magnified mirror yeah those kind of mirrors could be on the like little ones and then yeah. you could see closer. That could be such a good idea. Yes. Morphe, hire me. I mean, I have good ideas. it's such a good idea that there's no way that Morphe would do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, That's why, like, 
I, I just, I haven't seen what the mirror actually looks like on the other side, like the mirror yeah. space. And I just, I, I just have flashbacks to the terrible revolution coffee yeah. thing. So I'm like, I don't, I don't. Surprise. There's not a continuous face mist there because they yeah. usually put that in everywhere now. <laughs> When in doubt. Anyways, it seems like a lot of you guys are having the same sort of thoughts as us because 21% of you like it. So even with the nostalgia Disney factor, they're not getting us. We're getting wise to you, Morphe. We're getting wise to you. Then Alien Cosmetics have revealed their full magic palette. It's apparently coming soon, but they haven't said yet. Now, we did say last week that Alien Cosmetics are apparently relocating. So I have no idea when this is coming out because they said that a lot of their shipping of palettes is going to be disrupted. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this palette that you may not be able to get it immediately. Now, exactly. I fight out. I'm so excited about it that I can't actually fucking speak. I love the look of this. The shimmers. Is it just me or are the shimmers like something a bit magical, like that deeper magenta oh. purple? Oh my God. And that like teal. And they look a bit duochrome as well, I think. Um, I, um, this looks stunning. It's like a fall palette. It's pretty late to be a like fall launch, but maybe it is because they're like delayed on the shipments and everything. But regardless, it's beautiful package and you can really see the colors actually in the eyeshadows as well. It's not just like the beautiful package and then a neutral palette. I think this is very well thought out yeah very nice this is one of those occasions that like i you know i get really annoyed when i see lovely packaging and then the inside is bleh but this is like oh yay the packaging is actually matching the inside and they're both beautiful yeah. hurrah i love the look of this i just i can't get from alien cosmetics for quite some time because of the shipping costs and blah blah blah, yeah. blah, blah. like just the nightmare but i love the look of this this is totally something i feel oh, like yeah. i enjoy it is absolutely gorgeous. Like there's yeah. nothing negative to be said about this. And it does seem like a lot of you guys thought the same thing because 69% of you said that you love it. So that's a pretty, pretty high stat. So that yeah. means there's only one thing left to talk about. And I'm afraid we've, we've left the worst to last. Now we don't know what the collection looks like yet, but um, I'll be honest with you. I fear the worst. I'm very nervous <laughs> with this. Um, this is I Heart Revolution of all of the revolution fucking sister brands to do this the one that is get the probably, worst one. yeah probably the worst quality and then they're doing elf how dare you i love elf i love elf to the moon and back i love it so so much i haven't made the heel um and this is gonna like i can already yeah. tell it like there's yeah. nothing that i don't think they can do a good collection and at least like in i heart revolution it's gonna be those tiny palettes with like <laughs> some kind of elf face in there and then it's the pigmentation is going to be shit and like <sighs> I'm preemptively I'm upset I'm not, I'm like I'm the opposite of excited that people I, I could be not more not excited about this that I am I'm, I don't know if that makes sense I don't want sense. to say that I'm nervous but I'm like I'm like Dragon. I don't even want to see. I don't yeah. even want to see it. I want don't want to talk about it. It's gonna be bad. I'm sorry if I'm negative, but I don't have high hopes. No. Well, the thing is, we've tried to give them the benefit of the doubt in the past, and then they bring us. Yeah. Say it nicely. Shite. Now I know that there are a lot of revolution lovers out there, and more than likely you will get the palette and you will do beautiful looks with it. Uh, you know the likes of Alex I know Alex you'll you'll make it fucking work but you can make everything work but I love Elf so much like to a frightening degree I love Elf. oh my god I just thought what, what it could be like Elf X Elf El, is it Elf Elf yes Cosmetics. Elf, like these mini palettes. Well, you know the little green and gold palette that they have? That is Buggy the Elf. Oh my god, I have it here. Revolution, take notes. Like, this is the Elf palette. Like, the colors are exactly, this could be it. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, we're on something. All they'd have to do is just put like a little 
Go to the elf. Yeah, a little okay. elf here. Yeah. And like, oh maybe like a little Christmas hat on the E. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're welcome, elf. I'm just fucking saying, yeah. I will I will take my um, royalties for this. Uh, by the way, it's between both myself and, and Tia. This is very much a collaborative yeah. effort. Um, we, we want it in euros. I know that you're an American brand, but we want the royalties in euros, please. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be elf x elf. And then it's like, we're going it, to, then, then it's going to be Teresa and Tia. Yeah. There's going to have to be our names there. Oh, yeah. Us. Yeah, obviously. Because we, we thought of this, so. <laughs> <laughs> we can't help it. We're just so smart. So yeah, we've already solved the elf debate, the great elf debate. Can't you, would you believe if, like, now we see the iHeart Revolution, it's gonna be like this little fat, and then it's gonna be like a hat, and like just elf and say, like, like, is my house booked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God God. damn it, CC, have you been working revolution all along? <laughs> Like a, yeah. it's like an undercover revolution undercover work obviously you never know but guys that's it that's the whole thing it probably was a shorter episode than usual hopefully it was who knows good luck editing Teresa um but hopefully uh this was is up in time on Saturday I don't know because my work schedule is a bit nuts but I am trying but anyways you know the drill like comment and subscribe Go find Tia if you haven't already. You know the drill. Uh, do please share because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up, don't be gross. Turn on the notification bell, all the other things. Keep an eye out. We'll probably have some lives on at some point. And I will be doing a vlog of the girls' trips. So I'll try to. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyways, we're going to take off now and we will see you guys uh, in the next one. Bye!